Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Nurse Yana here today and in today's video I want to talk to you guys about catching up on your learning after you finish your either Diploma of Neural Nursing or Bachelor of Nursing Science. So I work for Queensland Health. I have been grad um, about half a year ago. So I finished my grad year as a registered nurse and if you've been following me for some time you probably know pretty much all my journey so since i started working for queensland health i have noticed that when you start working you will come across so many different unfamiliar um conditions medications treatment options and just a lot of different situations that you've never been prepared for from the uni and also the other thing that i have understood is that Diploma of Neural Nursing and Bachelor of Nursing Science, it's literally just like a start kick for you to go into the big world. They give you information, but that information is not enough for you to continue practicing just knowing that only. So it's a kick in, kind of like a start for you, you know, during your placements, to have some base to start. But once you start to practice, as a registered nurse that information becomes not enough and um, during your practice you will come um, across a lot of unfamiliar things that you will need to research you will need to relearn again um, some of the procedures will be different to what you have learned during your placements in different hospitals during your lab hours as well it will be different in a real world and this is what this video is going to be about. I just want to talk to you um, and remind you that it is important to um, self-educate yourself post your degree. For example, um, like I'm working in general medicine board, okay? And I always emphasize on that in my videos because we have so many different teams working with us on my ward, which means I learn a lot and also means I come uh, across a lot of unfamiliar situations, conditions every single shift. And if I wouldn't be learning, researching them, asking questions, I would be literally practicing as some kind of like a basic nurse, which will make me unsafe as well, because I wouldn't be learning more deeply about uh, a new condition that my patient has presented with, uh, a new medication that I come across, because me having ability to uh, learn and finding out more information about medication that I'm giving to the patient will equip me with knowledge to notice if the patient, for example, started to develop any side effects to that medication, maybe because they've never been um, on this medication before, it's the first time. So uh, me knowing that, okay, this new medication that I come across now, um, this is the side effects of it, this is the class of it, this is what it is for. So if anything will be developed by my patient, I know that potentially that could be linked to the side effects of that medication. And also, what's also important, when your patients come with the condition that you haven't heard of or you don't know in many details about, you know, you will be looking after that patient for the next eight hours. So it is important for you, if you feel like you don't know enough about it, just after handover, go and do a little bit of research. It will literally take you like five minutes even standing somewhere aside and googling it. If you don't have your phone on you, then you can ask one of the other nurses who work with you, just take them aside and say, hey, um, this patient of mine that I will be looking after today has this and this condition and I'm not sure I fully understand what that condition is what it does to the body, you know, what symptoms they might have, you know, and that person can actually like spare five minutes with you, educating you from what they know. But I usually like to do my own research. So like, even if I go to the med room to do the medication round, I can spare five minutes just Googling the symptoms of the condition, you know, and treatment options. So then from the handover, when I have the handover, and we have a plan of actions, plan of treatment for that person, you know, and I will Google later about it, the picture will become full in my head. It will make more sense to me and also it will equip me with more knowledge to when I will be looking after that patient in the following eight hours, you know. And 
Also, what I like about it that every time when you come across something unfamiliar and you research it and you learn about it, it just adds more knowledge to you. So in the future, if you want to become a clinical nurse, if you want to become a NAB, you want to proceed more into your studies, if you want to become a nursing educator like me, I want to move into education after a couple of years, my time now is crucial during my five years of practice that I need to gain before I apply for an education, educator role. It is crucial for me now to learn and gain as much knowledge as I can to be able to then pass over this knowledge to my students and also be more safer and more knowledgeable practitioner during my every year of practice. Because also, put it that way, your patients, they will be asking you, what is the medication for? Um, the results of the tests, what's the next plan now in my treatment, what's, gonna, what's going on next? Sometimes even, you will, you will be surprised, but a lot of them, and I have mentioned this before in my videos, would come um, to us with presenting particular symptoms, and then upon investigation, they will be diagnosed with a particular condition. Some of the patients may not know what that condition is. And the doctors, they don't have enough of time to stay with the patient and uh, explain to them. Sometimes patients just don't ask even doctors. They would be asking you nurses because you, the people they see most of the time like you stay with the patient from 8 to 12 hours depending on which work board you work and they assume that you know it all and because doctors are really busy you can share a part of information that is within your knowledge and within your scope of practice to um, share it with your patients so you can educate them. You can educate them what's going on with them, you know, the medication that they are on. And yeah, it just becomes very handy for you, it becomes very handy for the patient because you don't have to wait for the doctor to come unless they need some like more detailed explanation. But in general, I always encourage all of you and my friends who are, I have a couple of friends of mine now who are, who are doing their enrolled nursing, I always encourage them, take your opportunity to learn while you're on placements, take your opportunity to learn as much as you can when you become a grad um, RN or EN, because grad program year is pretty much your transition year of learning while you're practicing, but this time you're getting actually money for it. If when you were a student and you were going to the clinical placement, it was like a free labor. Um, it's just a purely for you a uh, learning ground. When you do your grad, it will be your learning ground. Plus, you will be getting paid for it. But still, you can ask as many questions as you can. Because I always say, like, it's better to ask all your silly questions now while you're a student or a grad um, register or enrolled nurse, rather than just waiting for a couple of years later and then asking something that you're supposed to be already knowing and then you're just asking like two, three years later. So use the opportunity, especially when you're a grad, to learn and ask as much as you can. And I can tell you from my experience, your colleagues, they're not going to look at you in a shaming way, in a weird way, up and down way. If you ask them something that you might think is silly or stupid, in nursing or medical world in, gen in general, there is nothing called stupid or silly. Okay, It might feel like this to you because... Uh, you might feel like, oh my gosh, everyone around me, they're so knowledgeable, you know, and they know it all. And I'm here, the one who's a newbie, and I don't know anything. But yet, all your colleagues will rather prefer you ask than think that you know it all and do a mistake, which might cause death or injury to your patients or some other serious problems. So... It's better to ask than feel sorry in the end of the day, be liable and even lose your license 
in the very beginning okay so i'm telling you from my experience that nobody will look in at you in a funny way if you ask your questions and you can ask as much as you want and you know what the more you ask the more you educate yourself you will expand your mind to is just unlimited possibilities for you guys I can tell you from my experience, the more you learn, the more your mind expands and the information that you start to observe and research and learn becomes even easier to understand. It's amazing how our mind works. When I started my enrolled diploma of nursing back in the day, I was amazed from the amount of knowledge it's been given to us and I thought so stupid and I felt so stupid because I felt like oh my gosh, all of this is so much and it's so hard, I will never be able to memorize it, I will never be able to fully understand, you know. But now, look at me, look at other people who you've been following probably on other social media, you know, from the day when they started to the day where they are now, at this moment, their mind is already so expanded because it's become a routine for them to study, to learn, to gain more knowledge. So continue this process after you graduate, continue this process throughout your grad year, continue this process when you finish your grad year as well. My teachers used to tell us that nursing field is a continuous field of learning and knowledge gaining. You will never ever stop learning once you step into the nursing or medical field in general because the knowledge that is there is endless it's literally endless it will be no day when you won't come across something that will be unfamiliar to you every day you will find something new and this is the beauty about nursing because you will never get bored of this profession because every day you will be learning something new and if on the top of that you educate yourself as well you do a little bit of research to understand things more better you will be the winner in the end of the day you will be the best nurse possible and you will give the best cares the safest cares to your patients which should be the goal of every clinician in my opinion out there so i hope this was a good reminder for you guys i hope i'm still inspiring you guys to learn and be a better nurses and if you have something to add to this video please feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below i read them all and i also like how you guys interact with each other in the comment section as well we have like a small nursing community here now on my channel and if you have any questions to me directly please either dm me to my email or find me on instagram which i will link for you guys here in the corner i have pretty much all my personal life on my instagram a lot of people still dm me there because i can speak more faster there in private chat rather than here um, so feel free to DM me there and thank you for following me and if you're not subscribed yet but you find my content useful please subscribe to this channel because it does help me to support this channel and create more content for you and I'll see you in my next videos bye